Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adil Badakhar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The chief ministerial level meeting between Assam and Meghalaya on Wednesday took a major stride towards resolving the boundary issue between the two states with both the CMs more or less reaching an agreement on the details discussed. This was the fourth round of meeting between the two chief ministers over the VEX boundary dispute held at Guwahati in Assam. Deputy CM Preston Tensong informed that both the chief ministers hope that they can take a final call before Meghalaya's 50th statehood anniversary celebrations on 21st January 2022. The Joint Action Committee or JAC of Hima Soyong marched to the office of the Kasi Hills Autonomous District Council or KHADC on Wednesday demanding the removal of the Lingdo of Hima Soyong Secretary March Kupar Thaba said that Lingdo Bashempang Thaba has been misusing the Hima's fund for a very long time now. Seeking KHADC intervention, the JAC has submitted a letter to the Chief Executive Member or CEM Titos Khan and urging the CEM for his swift intervention. Moving on, the government of Assam on Wednesday announced a relaxation in the curfew timings because of Bohak Bihu and the Uruka celebrations on Thursday night. The night curfew timing has been scheduled from 11pm to 4am instead of 10pm to 6am on 13 January. Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma, speaking about the new decision, said that the change was allowed considering people returning to their homes during Uruka night as well going for early morning shopping during Bihu. However, from the night of January 14, the curfew timing timings will resume from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Tokyo Olympics bronze medalist Lovlina Borgohain has been appointed as a Deputy Superintendent of Police or DSP in Assam Police. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma gave the appointment letter to Lovlina Borgohain at a function at the State Secretariat on Wednesday. Borgohain became only the third Indian boxer to finish on the Olympic podium, joining two of the biggest icons in Indian boxing, six-time world champion MC Maricom and Vijender Singh. Sikkim on Wednesday reported 322 new COVID-19 cases with a positivity rate of 17.3%. As per the health department, of the total 322, East Sikkim reported the most number of cases with 228 positive cases, West Sikkim reported 23, South Sikkim reported 66, while North Sikkim reported the least number of cases with only five confirmed cases. The department further said that a total of three patients recovered on Wednesday. A second minister, Dara Singh Chauhan, has quit Yogi Adityanath's cabinet in Uttar Pradesh, continuing a flurry of exits that started with Swami Prasad Maurya's shock resignation on Tuesday. This is the second OBC or other backward class leader to quit Team Yogi just before the Uttar Pradesh election next month. Chauhan from Eastern UP was the Minister for Environment and Forest in the Adityanath government and had joined the BJP in 2015. After years in the Bahujan Samaj Party or BSP, when in BSP, Chauhan was a Lok Sabha MP between 2009-2014 and a Rajya Sabha MP in the late 90s. In a huge blow to the BJP as it seeks re-election in India's most politically vital state, two ministers and four MLAs have quit so far and are set to join the Samajwadi Party of Akhilesh. Yadav. The Supreme Court on Wednesday appointed a five-member committee headed by former Apex Court Judge Indu Malhotra to probe the security breach during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's recent visit to Punjab. A bench headed by Chief Justice N. V. Ramana also appointed the Inspector General of the National Investigation Agency, Director General of Police of Chandigarh, the Registrar General of the Punjab and Haryana High Court and the additional DJP Security of Punjab as members to the Justice Malhotra panel. The top court directed the Registrar General of the Punjab and Haryana High Court to provide all the seized documents pertaining to the security arrangements made by the Punjab government for the PM's January 5 visit immediately to the panel head. Top Indian shuttlers Sena Nehwal, Lakshya Sen and HS Pranoy progressed to the second round of the India Open with contrasting wins on Wednesday. Former world number one Sena, who missed a lot of tournaments last year due to multiple injuries, moved to the second round after her opponent, Czech Republic's Teresa Svavikova, suffered a back injury and retired midway while lagging 20-22-01 in the opening round match. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www dot hub network dot in download hub news app in your mobile from google play store and apple app store for promotion and publicity write to us at info at hub network dot in thank you kublai shibon mithela